and I've been thinking uh, long and hard um, how America is going to be defeated and I'm pretty sure I figured it out I'm pretty sure that this is how it's going to happen it's just my opinion um, but what I think is going to happen I think all of our war crimes are going to come out um, and this is this is all planned uh, everything that we've been doing lately has just been destroying the US credibility I mean not like it had any to begin with um, but all these crimes these crimes we're committing these war crimes that are just stacking up I have a feeling that the UN or NATO is going to present a case where all the facts are going to come out and the United States is going to be exposed as a imperialistic Nazi type empire and the uh, the evidence is so overwhelming at this point they don't even need a trial um, and what I'm thinking is happening is the snake is eating its own tail I think what we're doing is like I said in this video slaves killing slaves building slave nations uh, we go into these countries and we destroy these countries and then we loan them the money to rebuild these countries and these countries go on to be members of UN and NATO so what I'm thinking is going to happen is, is I'm thinking that they're going to uh, compile this evidence and have a, uh, a world hearing a court if you will and the United States is going to be put on trial and this is an ingenious plan, a jihad from the inside out. Uh, you know, they're already working on killing the dollar. That that's been going on for at least three administrations, at least. Um, I realize that since 1913, the dollar's been dead. But what I'm trying to say is, is that the only way they're going to be able to kill this country is from the inside out, and that's what they're doing. Like I said, I think they're going to have a, a world court, and I think uh, the United States is going to be put on trial. And the result of that trial is going to be um, basically the U.S. ending up in flames. I think that's what they're going to do. I think that's what we've been doing all along. Like I said, we've been going into these countries, we've been dis destabilizing them, and then we've been building NATO and U.N. countries. We've basically been forcing them into... Uh, this collective monster and I think what's going to happen is is after we've poked a stick at every country in the world um, they're going to have enough reason and enough just cause to come in here and destroy us the entire world uh, and they, they do have a legitimate reason to do that um, but I'm innocent you're innocent the only people who are guilty are the leaders. So uh, whether or not they'll take that into consideration, I doubt it because we have guns and we haven't been doing anything. Um, and I'm not asking for a violent revolution. I'm just saying that we are one of the few countries that could, if we wanted to, put an end to this. Uh, the people, that is. The people of this country could put an end to this. Um, the soldiers could just put down their weapons and say, I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, I'm not going to go around and do this for you anymore. <clears throat> I don't want uh, I don't want to go in and kill people that I have no problems with. You know, I don't want my tax dollars going to bombs to kill these people that I have no problems with, that I don't even know. And that's essentially what's going on. Your tax dollars are being used to build these bombs that are killing these kids. Uh, I can't live with that. I can't sleep at night with that on my conscience. I'd much rather eat out of a trash can than have that on my mind. So that's why I don't have a job. Don't ask me to get a job because I'm not, I'm not I'm not participating in this anymore. I'm done. I am on strike. The entire country needs to go on strike. But uh, I'll take the first step. I have been on strike for at least three years now. I have not worked and I have not responded to the IRS constantly haggling me over four hundred dollars I don't you know kiss my ass you're not getting it oh, the ones we've never taken this is just a very short list of the countries we've never 
invaded. This is the calendar years. The U.S. has been at war since 1776. We have had 21 years out of our entire history in peace. And I'm sure we had some black ops CIA programs going on during those 21 years. Some destabilizations that nobody ever heard about. Iran, this is Iran over the last 100 years. This is the U.S. over the last 60 years. And that's over 50 countries invaded. Just to put that into perspective, Hitler only invaded 15 before the world jumped his ass. We've invaded uh, close to 60 in just the last 50 years. Or 60 years, excuse me. So... <clears throat> that just kind of puts it in perspective. If Hitler could only get away with 15, what makes you think the USA is going to get away with 70? Uh, 70, of course, since 1776. Some NATO members, we have invaded about, uh, I think, four or five of these people on this list. But it's not that we've invaded and pissed the NATO nations off. We've invaded and pissed off the UN nations and a good percentage of them. Just going to run through this list real quick. If you want to pause it, you can. I'm not going to bore you with a two minute presentation of all the UN countries, but we have been invading for a long time. I'm just going to read a couple of these since. Uh, since 2001, Afghanistan, Operation Enduring Freedom, um, Yemen, the Philippines, I'm not going to pretend to know how to pronounce that, the war in Iraq, Liberia, uh, Haiti, uh, da, 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 Pakistan, Lebanon, Somalia, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Uganda, Jordan, Turkey, Chad, Chad um, Mali, Somalia. Oh Lord, it's just not going to end, is it? It's not going to end until the entire world has had a stick poked at it and has a reason to come after us. It's just not going to end. It's not going to end until we are in flames. Um, and I'm not going to say it would be wrong if that happened, because it wouldn't be. Um, they have every right. We don't have the right. We have no reason to be in these other countries, but these other countries now have a just cause and a just reason to come and invade the U.S. Um, when Japan said they were uh, waking a sleeping giant during Pearl Harbor, <laughs> the U.S. is awakening a sleeping giant. The entire world is getting pissed off. And they already have enough evidence to do it. Uh, hell, you got enough evidence at your fingertips just at the Google search bar. So, it's just my two cents and what I think's going on. I think what's going to happen. Uh, one thing that I forgot to add, uh, I stumbled on this on complete accident. This is a, uh, a picture because I had went to uh, the Google so uh, search bar and I wanted to know the NATO countries. Um, and I was just trying to get a, uh, a image, a visual, uh, rather than having a website. Because it's just a, you know, to me, it's just a little easier to, uh, to explain this stuff when there's a picture instead of a, a large article. And this kind of struck me as odd because I really wasn't looking for anything like this. But, um... Yeah, I noticed that Russia is sitting over here by themselves, and I noticed that the Ukraine is sitting over there by themselves. So I'm kind of wondering if what's going on has something to do with this. And uh, they're trying to get them maybe um, maybe to join the, uh, the, uh, the, main NATO, uh, the main NATO branch, or if Russia is trying to get the Ukraine to join Russia's um, NATO branch. It's just, it's just a really weird diagram, but like I said, what stuck out was the fact that Russia's sitting over here by themselves and Ukraine is sitting here over, over here by themselves, and I did not have any intentions of looking for anything about the Ukraine when I was doing this video. This picture just kind of was in the mix. Uh, I thought that was pretty crazy, so...
I don't know if, any, if anybody wants to go into this further. I'm probably going to dive into this and see what's really going on because I think that this may hold a clue as to why we are, uh, as, as to why this current Russia and Ukraine and U.S. business is going on. I think this might be a big clue as to why it's going on. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more research into this. But uh, if you want to go into this, you can. Um, that's why I'm putting this up here. Because I haven't really done any research on it. This was an accidental find. And like I said, you do your own research, you're going to learn ten times as much. Uh, not too long ago, I did a video on the uh, the origin of the subliminals in video games. And I found... I found the first uh, subliminal in video games that happened to be the first first-person shooter ever created.